How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Lynn. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Absolutely magical day. Guys, today's video we wanted to share with you at the weekend there, myself, Lynn and Rusty, we created a wee sacred space out our back garden. Now, any of you know us, about three weeks ago we moved into our new home here and out the back there was a disused rockery and it's a fantastic location. It's actually just above a well spinning oh, in course. drinking water and fill so the energy any of you know the ancient ones anywhere they put standing stones usually a water conjunction at the bottom of the energy would be coming up the top so it's a fantastic location for us to place the sacred space we've got to be out there and we placed four crystals at the four directions north south east and west so we just wanted to share that with you and keep you updated and hopefully you'll be able to take, take something from it and maybe bring it into your own lives you know in a sacred space it doesn't matter where you haven't got a garden it doesn't matter where you live in one bedroom apartment or one room you know what I mean? Sacred space is just something personal to you. It could be done on a tabletop. Myself and Lynn, we've done it for the past 40 years. We hadn't had the facilities in the garden to do a sacred space in the garden. We've done one on the tabletop. And we will do a video hard to do that on a smaller scale. But this one here is just going to show you how we done it in the garden. And it's absolutely the magical energy from it. Oh, it's wonderful. It's going to be fantastic as well when we want to charge our crystals. Because come the full moon, right. put them on there for charging the crystals. And also on a beautiful sunny day as well. The energy is incredible, isn't it? Definitely. We do a lot of absent healing. We'll be sending people, loved ones, friends, anybody we know, probably we've seen, that you know, won't require a bit of thought, healing, positive energy being sent towards. We would do that. Uh -huh. This would be a fantastic location. It'd be course. wonderful, isn't we'll it? We'd be placing an object. Photograph of the loved ones, photograph of the person in the center, the crystal energy uh -huh. going set, the water, the energy going up to the top, our thoughts, our positivity would be radiant now to you. Uh -huh. So we say we feel it's, it's an absolutely amazing place and we do genuinely feel that if you can incorporate something like that into your own lives, create a sacred space, we all need it to connect in Mother Earth, connect in nature. I say it'll be absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely it'll be wonderful for you. And this video, we're going to show you how to do that. So we hope you enjoy it. Definitely. Guys, listen, any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. We really and truly love all your comments. It's, it's an amazing bunch. Oh, aren't so they glad. wonderful? Some wonderful, wonderful comments, aren't they? Really positive. And when we read them, it fills our heart with happiness. It's really, really lovely of you all, really. Is. Absolutely. You're probably hearing the back of me, rusty coughing. So just when we sang this, thing. Oh, I have a little cough. Hey, everyone. <laughs> that oh, was a poor one. Hey, you okay? I'm going to show you. Oh, oh just say well. hello to the camera. Oh, this is our wee, uh, our wee lucky Our master. little angel, he's our little golden angel, aren't you, Russ? Rusty's 14 years of age and he coughs, he is an old man and doggy. <laughs> You'll hear him coughing and wheezing and farting and spluttering. He oozes love, doesn't he? He's, he's like, do you know like when you hold him and cuddle him, he's like cuddling a huge ball of love. Who, me or Rusty? Oh, <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> now you want to tell me I get jealous, guys? Uh, guys, listen, send you love and blessings from Ireland, and as I say, tell you, just know that we're thinking about you, we're sending you our love and positive energy. Absolutely. Send you tons of love and happiness, as always, and enjoy. Bye. See you later, guys. And he's want to buy a wee dog. No. <laughs>
So you can see Rusty sitting up there, he's clearly he's found an energy spot there that he's comfortable in. And he's soaking up the energy. Come on down, look, he's back down again. You see, that's the thing that humans have lost and animals haven't. They know where there's good energy, there's nowhere it's bad. Sadly, humans don't realise that there's a bad energy there until they get sick and get ill. But this place here, I have to say, the energy is fantastic. So, I'm going to carry on. That's the. Uh, the next stage. Okay, when you're orientating your your sacred space, you know what we'd recommend you to get yourself as a compass, and they say that's the easiest way, and you should always have one because that way you know where you are. And that sounds quite trivial, but it's quite important when you're doing ceremony that you know exactly where north, south, east, and west is, um, especially if you're going to be working with the earth energies, you know. So when you're doing a sacred space, especially in your garden or in your home, get yourself a compass. Okay, once you position north, south, east and west, then that's the beginning. Start off in the centre. It doesn't make a difference where you go north, south, east and west next. Just put a marker down on each of the cardinal points. Now we're using crystals and obviously they're large crystals. If you're doing an indoor one, that would be large, too large for you to use. So get small crystal points. Once again, position them and that's all down to intention. Just watch what crystals you're picking. Make them special, make them your own. Light a candle, light a bit of incense. Create a wee space for yourself. This is only our way that we're doing here. When we were working for an altar and home, it was much smaller. We had to do more things much smaller. So it really it depends on where you're um, sitting and going to be placing your sacred space. Send you all our love and blessings from Ireland. May the sacred herb bless you all in the four directions of this planet. North, south, east and west. And know that we're sending you our love and crystal blessings from